Hey y'all, hey, it's tutorial time with Tay. And to get into this look, we're gonna start in three, two, one. First things first, we gotta cleanse the skin. We gotta have a blank canvas before we begin. Make sure everything is right. Then we are going to moisturize. Moisturization is key. If we don't moisturize y'all, your base is not going to be flawless. So I like to just massage my client's face with the moisturizer before we move on to our next step, which is priming. So priming is going to help the foundation stick to the skin and not move from underneath and same thing. I like to massage it in. So uh, normally I haven't been doing brows first, but this time I did brows first. I used the Morphe brow pencil and I just traced her natural brow. I did it very carefully because I didn't want any mess ups. So I traced her natural brow and I carefully shaded it in, starting from the tail to the front. But honestly, again, I don't really have no rhyme or reason. I just fill that eyebrow in. And come on, let's get into it. Look how nice and crisp it looks. Then I'm taking my Tarte Shape Tape Concealer and we're just going to carve out that brow. The concealer is pretty close to her complexion as is. We don't want that super highlighted look no more, baby. It's 2022 and that's not what we're doing. So we're gonna do that to both sides. Make sure they're both nice and crispy. And then this time around, I did it on the top too. Very carefully. I did it on the top too. And then you're just going to blend that out. Now onto the eyes, I like to start with a medium brownish shade or a shade that's close to the client's complexion and just start on the outer corners and build up that color. For this eye look, um, we did a deeper crease shade, a deeper brown crease. So I started with like a medium kind of brown shade from this palette right here. And realistically, I just kept building it up and building it up and building it up and building it up. And then I pat in that shimmer shade that's on the end. Using this Omrizi palette by Anastasia Beverly Hills, I took a deeper brown shade and we're just deepening that crease. And this is gonna give us some definition for whenever we do our graphic eyeliner. Okay y'all, so I stand very strong on this liquid eyeliner by Revlon. This is the Revlon Superstay liquid liner. And baby, let me tell you, you are going to get an accurate wing every single time. So yes, I cheated and I put tape there to help me out. But honestly, y'all, the flick of the wrist with this graphic liner that I did with this Revlon Super Stay, y'all cannot tell me that I did not snap. Okay, so now it's time for the rhinestones. We're going to take a little bit of glue. This is the Duo Lash Glue. And we're just going to dot the areas where we want to put the rhinestones. Once we dot them little areas, take some tweezers or a little tool and put the rhinestones right where the glue is. Mm -hmm. 
we are going to be using the NARS Soft Matte Foundation in the shade New Caledonia and Tahoe, baby. So I like to mix a couple of shades together to get that client's perfect match. And baby, you can't tell me that this is not the perfect match that I have for her right here. It's giving skin. I don't know why I'm pressing this brush so hard into her skin, but we here and it's blending extremely well now i'm taking some concealer and we're going to be using two shades of concealer here okay so the first shade is going to be one shade lighter second shade obviously drastically lighter <laughs> not drastically but you get the gist of it and then once we do that we're going to blend it all out I am a fan of a bright under eye, y'all, and listen, that's the only thing that's bright, though. That's the only thing that's bright, the under eye. Now it's contouring, and we're going to be using the NARS Creamy Radiant Concealer. Let me tell y'all something. Please, please, please. Do not use your applicator directly from the tube onto your client's face. Quickest way for a bacteria to grow. But anyways, we're going to blend all of these areas out, as you can see here. And we're just going to bring that definition and some shape back into that face. I like to use a shade that is one shade darker, not too dark because again we want it to be seamless we want it to be blending easy i kind of got ahead of myself with the talking but here we're just set in the face and i'm using the laura mercier honey and the huda beauty kanufa right underneath her eye and to set the rest of her face Now we got my favorite part, y'all, and that is bronzing. We're taking the Fenty Beauty Bronzer in Mocha Mommy, and we're just going to bronze her up. Add some color back into that skin. Now, I know we're getting to this nose, and you're probably like, Taylor, what the heck? That nose is very harsh looking. Like, harsh. But it's okay, y'all. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. Cause we're gonna take the same brush that we use to set the face and we're gonna soften it up soften it up and now she's feminine again going in with this palette from juvia's place we are going to add some color to her cheeks i am a major fan of orange blush on brown skin so we're mixing the two shades in here and i like to really just focus it on her apples of her cheeks she has really defined cheekbones already, so we're just enhancing them. Now we're going to tight line and go on the waterline with some gel eyeliner. I like to have the client look up to the ceiling and literally look up to the ceiling so I could get up underneath there. If your eyes water, we'll deal with that later. And y'all, please, <laughs> why is she like this? Why is she like this? <laughs> so now I'm just cleaning up the line with the gel liner too. It's going to give us more precision. Precision. <laughs> and then I'm going to go on with a deeper brown eyeshadow shade. And just go underneath that waterline. And it's kind of going to give us a smoked out effect as you can see. This might be my second favorite part of doing makeup. Um, I'm taking the MAC Studio Fix Press Powder and we're adding color back into her skin. This is going to help prevent flashback. Like, look at that side versus the left side. Literally. As soon as we put that powder back on the skin, it just brings everything together and it looks like butter butter so for the lashes i chose a more dramatic style for this look considering 
Her eyes are very popping, popping. Y'all, don't mind me. I don't put lashes on my clients like this anymore. I have a whole new method, so I'll show y'all in another video. But I love these lashes. Like, get into them. Get into them. I'm going to be honest with y'all, I hate lining lips. I hate it. It's really difficult for me to line lips, so... Mm. But I am using this MAC Chestnut Lip Liner, one of my faves. I go through it, like, <laughs> once a week. JK. But no, seriously, this is my favorite lip liner of life. And I'm taking my time lining her lips. One thing that I like to do is have the client smile with their mouth closed when I line lips. It just gives me a little bit more accurate line. And also when I'm applying the lip color, I do like to use a brush. Um, it's a bit easier to go on the lips. And then it's easier to blend out the liner and the lip color too. Aside from having my client like pop and tap her lips a million and one times, during this process, the brush helps out a whole lot. And also adding lip gloss. Lip gloss is like the secret weapon to having a super blended out lip. We're going to add some highlighter on top of that. And this highlighter is from Oh For Cosmetics. Clearly I use it so much, but I love it. I love it, I love it, I love it. And after we add highlighter, the last thing we're gonna do is set the face. And my favorite setting spray as of right now is the Morphe Misting Setting Spray. Oh, I skipped a step. <laughs> mascara, guys, mascara. Don't forget mascara. Mascara is going to blend the client's natural lashes to the falsies. Okay. And then, after mascara, you may set that face with some setting spray. So all in all, I really hope you guys enjoyed this video, this voiceover. Um, I plan on adding more stuff like this into the future. But this look came out bomb is heck. Like, please, please look at the material. And if you're not already following my makeup page, it's at more, the number two, the I. I will add it in my description box down below. That page is going to have all of my work and stuff for my business. So I will see you guys in the next video. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.